We heard this testimony, we heard this yesterday from a former top official, not testimony, we heard uh, him talk, a former top official of the Justice Department and a prosecutor who served on the Mueller investigation. What you just covered about the uh, Peter Carr announcement with uh, ben, Brian Benchkowski mm -hmm. and the fraud section, very unusual because what it signals is there clearly is an investigation into Rudy Giuliani. It tells you, and, and in fact, we now know there is an investigation. And one of the ways it could be, there could be a real overlap is, and this is you know, speculation, we don't know what the Southern District is doing, but one way you could do that is if you um, have a case on bribery involving the president, well, the president under the DOJ policy cannot be indicted while he is in office. That does not apply to anyone else who is involved. All right, you cannot indict the president, some people believe, under Justice Department policy. But that protection does not apply to the people around the president, like the president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. This week, we learned that federal prosecutors in New York are investigating Giuliani's consulting firm and a pair of Giuliani's associates, the already indicted Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman. And then today, we got this from the New York Times and the Washington Post, both papers reporting that while Rudy Giuliani was working to find dirt on the Bidens for the president, he was also pursuing business interests with Ukrainian officials. They focused on a draft proposal calling for Ukraine's top prosecutor, Yuri Lutsenko, to pay Giuliani at least $200,000 to represent him, and another proposal calling for the Ukrainian Ministry of Justice to retain Giuliani's firm for $300,000. Now, Giuliani told the papers he rejected both offers. It's hard to see how this has been a fun Thanksgiving week for Rudy Giuliani. Yesterday, the president told a former Fox News host that whatever Giuliani was doing in Ukraine, he wasn't doing it at Trump's bidding. Meanwhile, Mr. Giuliani is apparently scrambling to patch things up with the president, especially over the matter of insurance. I've seen things written like, he's going to throw me under the bus. Right. When they say that, I say, he isn't, but I have insurance. I have insurance. Now, a lawyer for Mr. Giuliani tells Reuters that Giuliani, quote, at my insistence, had called Trump within the last day to emphasize that he had not been serious when he said he had an insurance policy if thrown under the bus. This is good. Giuliani's lawyer says, quote, he shouldn't joke. He's not a funny guy. I told him 10,000 comedians are out of work and you make a joke. It doesn't work that way. Joining us now, former U.S. attorney and MSNBC contributor Barbara McQuaid. Uh, Barbara, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. I, I, what do you make of this whole? I mean, he went on national television. He was speaking to Ed Henry at Fox and he said this thing about I've got insurance. You're a former prosecutor. I don't really know who in real life uses that kind of language, but there seems to have been a message in that. Yeah, what's strange about it is he, he made that statement twice uh, when he talked about he's not concerned about President Trump throwing him under the bus because he has insurance. And then when he was asked about it, instead of saying, you know, that's just a joke, I meant, you know, sort of the literal, if I were injured by a bus, I have health insurance type of thing, would have been an easy way to explain it. But instead, he had some cockamamie theory about in a safe, he's got information mm -hmm. about the Bidens and a RICO chart. Um, it really does seem like what he was trying to say there is, I know where the bodies are buried, and so President Trump would not dare to turn on me, which is uh, a very strange thing for a lawyer to say about his client. Not just a lawyer, a former prosecutor, a former attorney general, a former, uh, you know, this, this guy was a, 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 a DA, not an attorney general, a DA. Rudy Giuliani knows the law. He knows people who talk like this. He knows what he means when he says it, but he must be gaining a great deal of interest from prosecutors who are looking at he, uh, him and his firm uh, and their work in Ukraine because he keeps leaving breadcrumbs. Yeah, he's been really reckless, I think, in his public statements. He has to know, he, he most certainly knows that anything he says publicly, anything he says on Twitter can be used against him. And so he really is beginning to paint himself into a corner because, uh, you know, when you're talking with people casually, you can make inconsistent statements and they don't get used against you. But down the road, he, he may find himself in a position where statements he made have really locked him into a position that could be harmful to him legally. Now, there's two Giuliani associates, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman. They're under indictment for campaign finance violations. They're expected back in court on Monday. Now, according to ABC News, Parnas has turned over audio and video recordings and photographs that include Giuliani and Trump. Uh, he's given this to the House Intelligence Committee. 
I don't know what that means. What do you glean from that? What kind of photographs and video? What, what, what could we possibly be talking about? I don't know. And, you know, I'm a little bit uh, skeptical of what Parnas has to deliver because he's been so public and his lawyer has been so publicly lobbying for his testimony, um, you know, practically begging to testify, perhaps in hopes of getting leniency in that New York deal. So I don't know uh, what to make of it. I look forward to seeing it, to see what it is. But uh, if he had something in which uh, President Trump and Rudy Giuliani were discussing uh, the work that uh, Giuliani was doing on President Trump's behalf in Ukraine, that could be of great value, especially now as President Trump seems to be distancing himself from the work of Giuliani with regard to Ukraine. Barbara, good to see you as always. Thank you for joining me. Barbara McQuaid is a former U.S. attorney and MSNBC contributor. Stay with us. We've got more news just ahead. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.